Welcome everyone to my new video presentation related to Bitcoin's price analysis, technical details and daily news that we're putting out. It's 14th of June and we're looking for seeing some market movements after a strong, strong market sell-off. We've been having a whole lot of the difficulties yesterday on 13th. We had the Celsius network, a lending platform having issues with their withdrawals. We had Binance running a pause on their withdrawals. Things have been moving around the markets in a diving standpoint. Yet the market cap has lost the 1 trillion cap, which has been a psychological barrier for a whole lot of us. As well, the 24 hours volume is very high at the moment, considering the current situation of the space. It's $160 billion. I do remember that we had 24 hours volume located around 100 billion when the market cap was 250 billion. So we had almost half of the whole market cap in 24 hours volume. And this is because a whole lot of the cryptos, as you can see on CoinMarketCap, we have listed 19,852. So close to 20,000 cryptocurrencies. Well, a whole lot of them are having an extremely, extremely small market cap. Yeah, BTC and Ethereum and all the other guys out there are collecting a huge amount of volume. Today, we have the USDT, which is the most traded cryptocurrency pairing the US dollar. It's functioning as of now very well compared to USDC, which is at just $14 billion. Fetter is sort of a way 10x more in volume, much more than BTC and Ethereum, by the way, quite interesting. Let's talk about the data, folks. For the past 24 hours, BTC has been diving, has been losing a whole lot of the supports, and things were pretty aggressive. Looking into the charts, we're going to see the daily candles, and this is very, very important. I'll explain you the context, and we're going to see some levels, and this is sort of a way a technical analysis I made in order to represent a context of the market. So we had our bull run support line. This was it. A bull run support line has been established on January 3rd, 2021. So we have a year and a half since it has been established. Bull run has started much quicker than that. Yet at a time we've been able to establish this, things got stable already in the direction of the upwards. This is the ultimate line of confirmation of the bull run. That's how we call this. Usually this trending lines of the bull runs are getting established somewhere in the middle progress of the bull run, which means that it has went 50% of what it has to do in terms of force and power. And then once this line holds, then we're still looking for much higher levels of the bull run. On the other side, if the line is not going to hold, this is one of the type of the lines that is representing a change in the dominant energy which was the case scenario for the first time here on 10th of May. I'm going to uncircle. That was the time we have lost it. But then we've done a retest. The retest has happened right here on 2nd of June, 31st of May, around that time. This was a bearish retest confirmed for full bearishness. So we came under the line, we had tried to get above the line, we have faced resistance from the line, and we have been confirming the new dominant energy. Fully confirming it, in other words. Lower high structure has been established here as well right afterwards, which is a extra, a meta confirmation of what has happened in the past. And then an acceleration swing downwards. Uh, we, you know, couldn't couldn't hold anything around twenty eight thousand or thirty grand. Could not hold. This is you know the bear run that we're fully discussing about. Uh, I'm sorry for the noise, folks. We are running some um, some reparations over here. 
Uh, so we've got significant support zone at the time we are right now. This is the first reaction, but it's insufficient for its futures longing at the moment. It is a decent possibility for sort of a way day trading on spot. It's very interesting because day trading on spot is something, day trading on futures with leverage is another thing, just like with a swing trading and position trading. On each type of trading, we need to apply different things. And this is something that I usually teach in my coaching, basically. So we have the significant support zone here located between 21,500 and 22,500. It's the place where we have reacted right now. It's the place where we're expecting some movements. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to dominate because I don't have data yet. I need much more, much more time for this. So usually traders do not predict without seeing the language of the market communicating a specific dominance to them. They don't just, you know, predict out of the blue that the line is going to react and reverse because it has to be based on the data, folks. This is what makes the difference between someone that is a trader or others that are pretending to be traders. They do predict without having proper data. Meanwhile, others cannot predict without sufficient data. So based on insufficient amount of data, yeah, quality is important as well, but in trading, the amount of data is needed, is essential. Well, you know, it's definitely not possible without these things. That's where we have a level and another level, which is going to be even more powerful, will be at a very, very strong support located around $16,000 uh, that we're going to have. So, you know, we have been falling into a cascade effect. Expect some days that we're, you know, are going to be pretty green. Expect some days, expect some bounces and some recoveries, yet the whole space is still dominant downside. And probably that's going to be uh, the way it will look like for the next months easily folks for the next months every little pump that we're gonna get will be heavily sold you're not gonna get such things you're not gonna get such things because you know that's something part of the bull run this is you know 125 percent in 91 days so you're sitting on your spot for three months and you're having more than double your initial uh, purchase that's huge, right? That's huge. It's 132 till the top. It's interesting because, you know, the entry here down was was so clear around 29,000, 30,000. The entry over there for a spot purchase that has been amazing. Even for futures trading, that has been great on a less riskier spot and, you know, way of handling it. Yeah, in a nutshell, that's where we are. That's that's something uh, that I wanted to touch bases on for the daily candles at the moment. Really important for all of you to make sure that you know what you're doing and never ever trade without having the whole knowledge needed of trading. Because this is an activity which is clearly driving towards losses. And it's not just like you get lucky and you hit the jackpot because that did not exist. Jackpot in trading do not exist. Jackpot exists in other places, but in trading, markets will take everything from you quickly and suddenly if things are done wrongly. So for anyone out there looking for joining my mentorship program, my one-on-one -on -one coaching directly with me, it is a coaching between four to six weeks live with me on Zoom conversations, where I'll take you by hand and teach you how to trade. This is the page, scramblecoaching.com, explaining how does it functions. There's also a video here, but you can register now, find out more information, and have a free call with me of 15 minutes where I can explain you more about it. If you're serious about it, we can do it. As well, for those of you looking to join my movement of full trading done for you through you know, just commission. Uh, we are performing trading through APR and we're having our trading results in September 2017 on the left side of the screen. Meanwhile, on the right side of the screen, to explain how does it functions. There is no upfront fees. It's just a pure commission out of the pure profits achieved. Very simple. That's pretty much all, folks. That's all, you know, that's the way we are. 
and uh, feel free to subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll talk to you soon.